So today I want to show you how to make this delicious, refreshing radicchio and romaine salad with a lemon vinaigrette. It is so good and it's so easy. It literally takes like five minutes to make. I'm not even kidding. So we're going to dump everything into our mixing bowl. I already have my romaine. I've just chopped it up, put it in there. Um, and so if you've never seen radicchio, this is radicchio and it is just such a beautiful lettuce and it's got this vibrant red color. I am going to take off the outer leaf just to reveal it's a little bit wilted, but this, check that out. Is that not like gorgeous? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. There is a core in here that we need to take out. So I'm just going to cut it in half and then I'm going to, um, look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that, that's like jewels. It's gorgeous. So I'm just going to take out the core just like that. We'll get rid of that. And then we're just going to chop this up. So I'll cut it in quarters. I'm going to cut the halves in half and then we're just going to chop, chop it up and throw it right on in the bowl with the, um, romaine. And you're going to see, this is just the easiest salad to make. And I just love it. Radicchio is a little bit bitter. It, um, has like a, a little bit of a bitter taste to it. Um, but it's so good with the romaine. Like the romaine is a little bit sweet, the radicchio is a little bit bitter, so it kind of balances each other out. And then with the lemon vinaigrette, oh my gosh, you guys. It is one of my, it is truly one of my favorite salads. And I don't know about you, but when it's spring like this and the weather's getting warmer, I like to eat a little bit lighter. You know, in the winter time, I've been eating a lot of pasta and a lot of bread and um, and so I'm ready to lighten things up a bit and have some salads and that'll help with the waistline too I think so I'm just gonna finish chopping up my radicchio I'm gonna get it into the bowl with the romaine and then We're gonna add a couple more ingredients. Watch your fingers. We're gonna add a couple more ingredients. Make the vinaigrette and oh my gosh, it's gonna be delicious. Get all that in there just like that. And you see how fast this is? And the good thing is you don't even have to really peel up your um, cucumber. I'm gonna add a cucumber. This is an English cucumber and you don't even have to peel it because the skin is just really tender. And so what I like to do is just cut it in half because it's easier to, to, to chop that way. And I'm just going to cut it into half moons just like this and throw it in the salad. It's that easy. And normally I would use also some cherry tomatoes. However, I, was, I didn't have any. I used them all for uh, something else. So, But the good thing is is that you don't have to not make something just because you don't have the exact ingredients. You can make it anyways and just use what you have on hand. You could add literally anything that you want to this salad. It's just a salad. Um, and you could add some red onion if you wanted. You could add some scallions if you wanted. You could add cheese if you want. You could use this for a chicken salad or a steak salad and put fries on top of it if you want to do that um, or it would be really good with you know those big steak fries or potato wedges so we're just going to throw in the rest of the cucumber just like that and then I have like I said I didn't have cherry tomato but I did have a regular tomato so I just cut it up into bite-sized pieces I'm just going to add that and we're going to get this cutting board on out of the way. We're going to clean up this mess a little bit and then we're going to make the vinaigrette. Okay, so I'm just going to make the vinaigrette right in this container right here so I can pour it in easily. All you need is about a quarter cup of lemon juice. This is fresh squeezed lemon and I do have a seed in there so I'm going to fish that out. 
So just a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. To my lemon juice, I'm adding about a teaspoon or so of Dijon mustard. This is a good quality Dijon. And I'm at the end of my little container here. So we'll get that in there. And then get that off the, with the whisk, just like that. We're going to add a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon or so. And then we're going to also add a little bit of pepper, about half a teaspoon. Now, I'm going to give that a little mix just to incorporate the mustard, and you're gonna see how awesome this is. It's gonna get thick and just decadent. So we're gonna add some olive oil, and we're just gonna whisk as we pour it in, and we're gonna add about a half a cup or so of olive oil, and this is a good quality olive oil. It's got a nice fruity flavor, really good. And the dressing just emulsifies and gets really, really thick. And then I'm just gonna taste it for flavor and make sure everything is balanced. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that's really good. The fruit flavor, the fruitiness of the olive oil, the lemon juice, oh my gosh, so, so good. So now, so the dressing just gets really, really thick as you mix it. It's delicious. So now all we're gonna do, dump it over our salad, just like that. We're gonna toss everything together and then we'll be ready to plate it up. So I'm just chopping up some hazelnuts that I've toasted in the oven for a few minutes and I thought that it would give the salad a nice little crunch and also that the hazelnuts would go really well with the lemon. So I'm just going to top those, just a little rough chop, just like that. Oh. And there you have it guys. This is my radicchio and romaine salad with lemon vinaigrette. I can't wait to taste this. Get a little bite of everything. Nuts. There we go. Mm -hmm. mm. That lemon vinaigrette with that, with the olive oil is outstanding. And the radicchio and romaine balance each other out so well. The bitterness of the radicchio balances so well with the sweetness of the romaine. And then you get that crunch from the hazelnuts. This is a great salad to take to a potluck or a picnic or something like that. You have to try it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And... Remember, there's a link below that has all the ingredients so, and all the measurements and everything so you can make it yourself. Thanks for joining me on Simply Homemade with Denise. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.